Hi, this is Miles Budimir, Senior Motion Control Editor with Design World Magazine. Uh, and I'm here with uh, Bill Epic, Vice President with uh, Weiss North America. We're out here in Willoughby, a little bit east of Cleveland today, uh, to talk about uh, the company's uh, indexing tables. Uh, so we have some back here. And one of the, one of the things about the, these indexing tables is uh, something about overload clutches, precisely the absence of overload clutches. Can you talk about that? Sure. Yeah, most mechanical index tables in the past traditionally have had overload clutches. An overload clutch is a mechanical interface between the rotational portion of the index table and then the tool plate which would hold the customer's fixtures. And what the, the use of that product is, is to be able to release the tool plate from the rotating dial in order to protect the internal mechanics of the index table in the case of a jam or an e-stop during an application or during uh, production. What we've done is by utilizing uh, specific sizing software as well as uh, very low horsepower motors, we have not allowed the motor to have enough power in order to overcome or damage the mechanical inter inner workings of the index table. So what we do is if there is a jam or an e-stop, actually the motor will stall and then you will release the brake on the back of the motor and then you could just index to the next position. So in essence, we've been able to remove and eliminate uh, mechanical indexing table overload clutches or output overloads as sometimes they're called. And what that does is it increases the accuracy of the overall indexer, it reduces maintenance costs, and also reduces overall costs for the system because that is one additional mechanical component that you do not have to have within the system. Something else about these too. Uh, talk about, uh, talk a little bit about the, the speed stops and how, how that also helps uh, customers as well. Yeah, what we do is we have what we call a pre-engineered speed step. And a speed step is basically made up of the motor, two pulleys, and a timing belt. And we do it this way so that we can have almost an infinite gearing uh, ratio op option within each of our index tables. And then also what we've done is we've tested each individual load um, on each index table with a specific speed step so we know exactly how fast we can move it, how fast we can stop it, and exactly which mechanical components are needed in order to make that happen. So there's no way that there's any surprises involved with it once an application happens. We know exactly what the outcome will be once we know what the customer's loading and inertia specifications are. Okay, sounds good. Any other products, uh, I guess, that we can talk about? There was a, there was a uh, was it an open center uh, technology as well? Correct. Yeah, so we have traditional mechanical index tables, uh, all of the same properties and, 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 and features and benefits of these products are also available in what we call our TR and NR series of open ring center index tables. What's unique about those products is it gives you a very wide open center so that you can actually build your system from the inside out. So instead of having all your components on the outside of a traditional mechanical index table, you can actually put robots and screwdrivers, presses, and those things on the inside of a system. So from the inside out, you'll have a much cleaner system, more access to parts. It's more accurate because you're indexing out toward your uh, fixtures and uh, also allows you to have a, a smaller overall envelope floor space of that system. So lots of options here, obviously. Uh, if people want to find out more, how can they do that? Yeah, just go to our website, which is www.weissna.com, and you can find plenty of movies, catalogs, as well as 3D CAD downloads of all of our products. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Bill. Thanks for your time today. Thanks, Miles. Appreciate it. All right, and uh, thanks, everybody, for watching.